All right, welcome back to Adobe Muse CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to add uh, essentially a YouTube link in Muse. So uh, looking at our site here, we have a home about portfolio and contact page. What if I want a video page? Well, I can add a video page below the portfolio page as a child page. So I'm just going to click on that and name it uh, video or videos. I'm just going to name it video. And then um, for this page, uh, in order to see through the navigation, I would have to adjust on the master page, uh, the main menu here. So currently it's just showing, if we go to the options here, the top level pages, but I'd have to switch to all pages. That way we have the video options here. So now I could go in and just like before, style this actual menu. I'm not gonna go through that process, but essentially that's what I would do. Uh, basically just to style it however I want here. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, preview this just so you how it works. All right, so uh, basically as I hover over portfolio, I have the video link here and click on it, and then I'll basically go to the video page. So let's go to the actual video page here, double click on it. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually add a video widget. So in the widget library, uh, down here at the very bottom is the Schulstroy area in that social area has, uh, there's all kinds of different kind of cool widgets here that you can play around with. Uh, anywhere from PayPal to Google Maps to Facebook to Twitter and Vimeo and YouTube. So here's YouTube here and Vimeo is right here. So we're gonna do YouTube and basically the way it works is drag it over and drop. Uh, there's some options that come with it. Let's go ahead and kind of find a cool location for it. I think right about there will probably be good. And the options, again, it's just like all the other widgets, the little blue circle with the arrow. Click on it. And uh, you'll see here, you have a couple of theme choices. So a dark or a sort of a lighter theme. Um, you have a progress color from red to white. I'm just gonna leave it red. And I'm gonna go with the dark theme here. Uh, the start time is essentially, you know, uh, you can basically skip the video to a certain time period, but I'm going to leave it at zero. I want to allow full screen, um, and pretty much most of these I want to keep checked, show controls, show related. Uh, I could uncheck show related, um, but I think I'll keep that. Autoplay, show info, you could check if you want loop. I'm going to leave those unchecked because you can simply click to replay. I am going to check this box, reduce branding. Um, that will make the video quality just a little bit better. And now we need a video. You know, if we did this preview, it, it would basically be this uh, video from Adobe, but I actually want to insert my own video. So I can go out to my own site on YouTube and I have lots of videos here. And this one here, uh, creating links, I'm going to click on. And uh, what I want to do is embed this video. And the way you do it is up here in the URL. It's right after the equal sign. You get these series of numbers and letters. And that's what you want to copy. So just copy that. Control C or Command C on a Mac. And then basically we'll paste it in here by hitting Control V or Command V on the Mac right here where it says video ID. So uh, as soon as I do that and click out, it will start to update here. It'll take a few seconds. And then to actual preview it, all I gotta do is click on the preview button here. Let's go ahead and do that. And if I wanna play my video, I just click the play button here and I'll be talking, uh, so it'll be like a double loop of myself, which will be kind of strange. I'll go ahead and pause it here. Uh, I have the ability to add closed caption, uh, the settings here, so you can adjust the quality. And of course you can go full screen there, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you can just hit the escape key to escape out. But uh, pretty cool and easy to add video. Um, once you have it in there, pretty much good to go. Now, uh, once you select the video here, can you add, like, for example, a stroke around it? Well, yeah, you can. Um, I can do that. I can add a stroke, a couple of points here, just to give it kind of like an extra border around. Um, it typically, you know, doesn't quite line up always all the time, but uh, let's see how that will look. Let's see, uh, let's go ahead and give it like, exaggerate maybe six uh, point. We don't need to apply a fill, let's add a stroke and let's do the preview again and see how this looks. Here in the actual render video, it looks better. It has a nice clean render and this is typical that the, the way it looks before you hit preview, it's not gonna look as good. 
So now I get that red frame around it if you wanted to have that with the stroke. Um, again, I'll pause it here. I can go full screen and then hit escape again. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, that's pretty much the options you have. Uh, the other one, the other widget is the uh, for video is the Vmail. And this one is pretty much the same. As you drag out, you get the video ID and a couple other options here. But um, yeah, so if you're if you use Vimeo, you can you know, pretty much do the same thing. I use YouTube, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Uh, so that's it for basically working with video. We don't have the ability yet to add uh, direct video, you know, from uh, like an you know like a MPEG type video yet. But I'm sure that's coming soon to Adobe Muse. So until next time, cheers in Adobe Muse CC.